Hello, so in part one of my series on the quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator, we formed this differential equation, and we were trying to solve for the wave function for the ground state, sine or x. So to do that, we use separating the variables. So put sine naught x and x naught squared on the side. x naught squared is a constant in this case. So multiply both sides by x naught squared um, of sine naught x. Okay. Of sine naught x like that. And then we have d sine naught x here. Multiply both sides by dx and we have negative x dx. So we separated the variables on two sides of the equation. Now we integrate. So the integral of x naught squared divided by sine naught x with respect to uh, d sine naught x is equal to the integral of negative x dx. Okay? So x naught squared is a constant, so we can bring that outside the integral sign and we get the integral of 1 over sine naught x d sine naught x. Okay, and the integral of negative x with respect to x is simply uh, a half or negative a half x squared. Okay, and the integral of 1 over sine naught x is simply the natural log, so therefore we get x naught squared multiplied by the natural log of sine naught x is equal to negative x squared over 2. Okay, so divide both sides by x naught squared, and we therefore get the natural log of our wave function is equal to negative x squared divided by 2x naught squared. Okay, and we add the constant of integration. Okay, and so we can undo this natural log by raising it to the power of the base. In this case, it's the exponential uh, e. So therefore, we finally get sine naught of x is equal to e to the power of negative x squared divided by 2x naught squared plus c. Okay, now we can simply take c out, the constant of integration, and we can write it slightly differently. And we have sine naught x is equal to e to the power negative x squared divided by 2x naught squared multiplied by e to the c. e to the c is just a constant, and we can let e to the c equal a. So therefore, we have it in the familiar form from part one. And that is the wave function for the ground state. So in part two, we actually solved for A and found the exact wave function.